Well hi everyone, Eldrick here, and welcome back to more Hellsign. We're going to continue our Stalker class playthrough today. And I know in the last video I had said something about um, not having to cut any of the videos, but it seems like the last house that I went into, I was running low on disk space on my hard drive, so that last mission did not get recorded. So since then I've freed up some space, and we're going to continue here today. So let's just go through what we have. Uh, we picked up the nicked up short tom. And I think that was about it. Yeah. And we did purchase the uh, parabolic mic. And other than that, we're just running with initial starting gear. Now let's check out our skills. Uh, we put a point into Treasure Hunter to help increase our money intake. We also managed to pick up, when we made level 6, the SMGs and Salt Off skill. So that will cut down our reload penalty that uh, the nicked up Tom uh, initially would have gave us. So now we can reload quite quickly with it. And... I'm eventually going to probably unlearn this and use it elsewhere. We have about a hundred and twenty, about a hundred and fifty experience we have to gain to get our next level. Let's go over here. Okay, so I have to find her one clue on the evidence side. There we go. She's going to ask us to buy the shadow page now. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the money. And we are. Let's just sell off one of these cheaper signs here. to her. Okay, we're going to try our luck out here and see how well we fare against these ghouls with this shotgun. So let's hop into this sweeping mission here. I may be able to survive maybe two attacks from these ghouls, maybe three at the most, with uh, just wearing the hoodie. But we're going to try our luck here anyway. And if we do manage to kill a few of them, we should get some decent experience. I'm not sure what exactly the total amount is per killing one of those, but should be fairly fairly decent, I would think. And with not having uh, much experience with using these shotguns in the game so far, I'm having pretty pretty good time using them. Where are you going to pop out at here? There's one. Let's 
go back in there and try it again. Looks like we managed to keep one of the uh, ghoul parts at least. We didn't lose it, so that's good. I think I would have been able to take that, that second ghoul out um, if I would have just managed to dodge that last attack that he got on us. And it was pretty, pretty unfortunate that we did spawn two there at once also, so that didn't help matters any other. There we go. Oh, why'd you have to go through the door? out of here. We've done enough damage to that house. <laughs> Let's go up there and get some ammo. We'll go ahead and give him our 200 bucks. Because we want to open up the other items in his shop. Yeah, we'll wait off on, we'll hold off on buying any of those other things because we don't need any of that, uh, that upgraded, um, maglite or whatever it is. So we're 23 skill, um, experience points from getting a level. Let's go back into another sweeping mission. Alright, we 
gained our skill point. triggered here in the hallway okay we'll just exit this house Try this. Don't know if I can purchase any of those yet, though. Oh, I can. save and wait and get the iron sight but go ahead and buy the laser sight oh nice and it's already on there now whether or not I turn these four ghoul parts in or not yet I may actually try to farm for a little bit just to get some money. I may not, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I guess we will cross that bridge when it gets there. If you have any ghouls, we can run out into that room. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that thing.
really want to go past that. I'm afraid that little tentacle thing will shoot me. since it's not going to come after us. <laughs> it's the walls, so we don't have any worries with it. So we can go turn in those parts now if we want. Let's see, we have five of them. Along with our other thing, our other signs there. Let's just go back in there and farm those um, ghouls up a little bit. And they'll give us a little bit of extra money. Not a whole lot, but just enough to um, purchase some of those items when the gun shop. Um, mission is completed after we turn those parts in to the bouncer. Because the extra money right now is definitely not going to uh, do us any harm. Let's see if we can trigger anything here. shells left. Let's mosey on out of here. That's what I get for not keeping up with how much ammo I have. <laughs> worried about these other creatures in the house right now I mainly just want to spawn the uh, the ghouls and this might be the only this will probably be the last house I, I try to go into and try to spawn and farm those uh, ghoul parts from then we'll head back to the bouncer and turn those four into him and uh, continue on.
Hopefully we're more successful in this one. Oh cool, I took both of them out. That's nice. This back into the living room. Boy, these spiders are annoying. Okay, I have three six shots. Take out this ghoul. some game progression here with Lucky King. jobs unlocked. And we have to bring Zoe back to EVP. Clues or signs that we pick up in a hunting mission.
but we don't have the gadget tree right now to be able to do that successfully. And we have all of our other nifty items that we can now purchase and stop, which is pretty damn sweet. So our next upgrade is going to be the pump action, pump action smokestack if we choose to purchase that. Or we can save up and just wait for a little less than three grand and get the AR pursuer pump action. Go ahead and buy our Kelvlar helmet. And we'll purchase the iron sight because I like the uh, reload rate rather than the critical hit of damage. And we're also going to need to purchase the toolbox at some point in time. Okay, let's get us some ammo here. I'm going to get us some 12 gauge hollow rock salt. I like using that type of ammo quite frequently. Okay, let's head into this scouting house here. It's a little bit more dangerous and the sign awards and clue awards that we pick up are going to be a little bit more uh, steeper in price when we go to sell those to Redback, which is also nice. Because we're going to need that money to purchase those other gadget items to be somewhat successful in the hunting mission houses. Because if we go in there now with what we have, it's just going to be static like crazy and even just standing outside of the house and you're not going to be able to find anything hardly. You could if you wanted to, but it would just be a big pain in the butt. Alright, let's see how we fare here. Gotta be something inside here. There we go. Nice.
You see how this parabolic mic is going crazy? That's pretty much what it would do, but worse in the hunting mission houses. The same thing would be the same with the EMF detector. It would be going crazy right now, too. On this other one. Okay, the tracks are leading me here. And we have a bunch of spiderlings. A ton. Choke's not bad either. Okay, let's see what we want to put this skill point to use on. I'm gonna go ahead and learn these two, and then in the future we're going to unlearn them and put them elsewhere. And I'm probably going to unlearn this, and eventually unlearn this as well. So, we got a pretty good supply of signs and stuff that we're going to sell after we gain this next level. And, uh... Put that skill point into the counterfeit skill here. After we learn this, we're going to sell off all those signs. And I forgot um, which sign it was that we picked up that was the EVP for... Um, what's her face? But it doesn't matter anyway, because we have to be in a hunting mission for that, don't we? using myself
check this other door. Time, I suppose. Place. 
I almost wonder if I would fare better doing some sweeping missions rather than scouting missions right now. Oh wow, just one? Okay, we got some foot tracks leading up here. And we're going inside this room here. bathroom. I doubt it's in here. Once it's in this room. and you walk all over the place find it, trying to find the thing. There. 
can be here. Safe house first. We'll learn counterfeit skill. And we'll go char our looks selling off all these signs to red back. Let's see how much we wind up with. Okay, so we have $298 currently. Um, and how many signs? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, nineteen. Nice, I already got one. There's two, three, four. We wound up with 2,210 bucks. It's not bad at all either. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now we can actually upgrade our, our equipment here. Let's go with the snow owl. sound. And we can also upgrade our EMF detector as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Sell that one off for four bucks. And we'll just hang on to this pocket light for the time being. Alright everyone, I hope you guys take care. Please be safe, keep gaming, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Hell Sign. Bye-bye.